okay, these are uh, some experiences I had that are kind of different than the, the long virtual reality out-of-body experiences. These are just quick little experiences that the reptilians can do to people and they've done to me or whatever. But um, what it got me thinking when I was in England after that one reptilian did that weird thing to me when I was in the van, it got me thinking about that movie, Storm of the Century, how the reptilian is like sitting there controlling the person with his hands. He's like moving his hands around when he's sitting there. Um, and this is all in 3D when the reptilian's sitting there in all 3D storm of the century he's like controlling that woman in the bathroom with his hands and it just kind of got me thinking about that experience that that reptilian did when I was in the band but anyway um, yeah they can kind of control you uh, to a certain degree um, they, they've controlled me in 3D to do certain things before um, yeah it's really weird like sexual things and that was in 3D, but that doesn't happen very often. But they can more so get to you or get to me in the altered states of consciousness. But um, yeah, so these are like a couple little little experiences that I that I had, small, little, short, quick, out of body mind abductions and virtual reality experiences. But anyway, so this morning, though, I was um, talking to the beans, and I don't know if I accidentally jolted myself out of it, because I've been having some sinus problems, and that goop was backing up in my throat, and I, and I was kind of, I kept being jarred awake when, when I laid on the couch last night, and then when I went to bed last night, well, I actually slept real good for many, many hours, and then when I woke back up like at 8, 30 then it seemed like I, I couldn't really sleep on my back because that goop was like backing up in my throat and it kept jarring me back awake when I kept trying to fall back to sleep but so I was like talking to the beans this morning to give me an experience and about 11 o'clock they tried to put me in a virtual reality experience and um, but it only lasted like five or ten seconds so it really sucked so I don't know if I accidentally jacked it up or if they jacked it up because they have messed up before I think or maybe it's a little bit of both maybe we both messed up but it only lasted like five or ten seconds but yeah I was gonna get an awesome virtual reality experience and somehow I messed up or either they messed up and it only lasted ten seconds and I jolted back in my body but the reptilian placed me in this outdoor environment like it was cloudy, dirty, muddy. There were like 10 or 15 men in the, way in the background, like 30 yards away from me. They had on either military suits or like police officer suits. But um, like I say, it was weird. I don't know why it only lasted five or 10 seconds. But anyway, so on the ledge, of, there was like mountains in the background, hills or mountains or whatever. And like I say, I was outdoors and I was like walking up to the ledge where this box was, a six inch by five inch, or well, let's see, six inch by six inch box. And over to the right was a small can of cleaner, like aerosol spray. And I knew exactly what it was, but now I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was cleaner. The spray was like cleaner. And the little box, I remember specifically, I walked up to it somehow I, I needed it and I was about to pick it up and I remembered what it was exactly when I was in the experience that little box and now I freaking can't remember when I jolted back in my bed and stuff I had forgotten yeah so that was kinda weird I have no idea why it only lasted five or ten seconds but maybe maybe I accidentally jolted out of it cuz I had that stuff back it up in my throat maybe it woke woke me up I think I'll be fine tonight though but I think I got caught a cold last week week at Walmart because I went to Walmart like three times and I think I picked up a cold but it didn't last very long I never get the flu or anything but um yeah so yeah and I was asking for a virtual reality experience and they were going to give me one but I don't know why it only lasted five or ten seconds so that kind of sucked 
I mean, like, there had to have been more parts to it, but either I kind of screwed it up or they screwed it up. The reptilian screwed it up. Not they, I mean him or her or whatever, probably him, but yeah, so somebody screwed it up because it only lasted five or ten seconds. So that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll get another one in the morning. Okay, so anyway, so these two or three experiences that I'm about to talk about, they're like quick little mind abductions and and astral abductions. Um, the quick little experiences that they could do, you know, as opposed to the normal long out of body experience and virtual reality experiences they give me. This is like quick little experiences that they could do to people that they do to me. And um, so um, the the first one was in 2013. Well, not the I've had more than that, but this is just one three. This is just three little examples experiences that I had. But the first one was like in 2013, and and I, I totally felt like a female being came forward and gave me this experience. Even when I'm in my car, I can like talk to them. And I'll close my eyes and I'll, I'll get kind of groggy. And I'll, I'll ask them to wake me up so I don't oversleep on my break or whatever. And they'll, they'll make a high-pitched noise, like, ee! Like, uh, this high-pitched noise. And they're like, they'll wake me up. They'll jar me awake. Um, so anyway, this is kind of what happened. This female, I was talking to them. I can't remember exactly what I was saying. Probably that I wanted some kind of an experience, but I didn't ask for anything specific. So this is what the bean did. Um, she created exact rep this was like 11 o'clock in the morning and I think it was a weekend. She created exact replica. She stole my mind basically. It's kind of like a remote <coughs> remote view. But really I'm not calling it that because my remote view is my mind is stationary. But yeah, so she stole my mind and she created, she put me in this virtual reality setting one street over from me, this exact replica of the street and of the house and the yard, exact replica of one street over from me, she placed a kangaroo at the end of the yard. This uh, house doesn't have a fence around it in the front yard or anything. And so she stole my mind, basically. And I wasn't complete, I wasn't out of body. I mean, my mind was, but I, I didn't have, like, my astral body with me. She stole my mind and... Um, she put me in this virtual reality scene one street over from me and I kept moving closer and closer. My mind kept moving closer and closer to the front of the yard and I was like, what is that thing? Like, is that a kangaroo? At first I thought it was like a person standing there and I got closer and closer and I was like, wow, a kangaroo. And then, and then she's like, and then she goes, eat. Like she, she, you know, made me jump. She, 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 she jarred me awake. She shocked me. They can, like, be ornery like that and make you jump. I mean, she scared me, basically, by making this high-pitched sound whenever I was like, wow, is that a kangaroo? When, I, when my mind kept moving closer and closer to it, I was like, is that a kangaroo? And, um, and then she's like, oh, wait a minute. No, she didn't. She goes, oh, I totally remember now. She didn't make the high-pitched noise this time. She goes, boo, like that. Yeah, I remember now. But they do make high-pitched noises at me sometimes if I'm talking to them, like in my car or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. My memory came back. Okay, this time it's as I was like, I was shocked, like what was at the, you know, the end of the yard, the front of the yard. And I was just like, wow, that's a kangaroo. And then she's like, boo, like that. And I freaking jumped in my bed. Yeah, they can make you have a heart attack, man. And yeah, because she's like, you know, when I was excited, I was like, wow, a kangaroo, because I knew we don't have kangaroos around here. That's when she scared me and made me jolt in the bed physically. So anyway, they can kind of steal your mind like that. Because my astral body wasn't with me, but my mind was. She stole my mind. <coughs> Bobbies! What are you doing? Baby, you just freaking barfed everywhere, you little shit. Okay, now get up, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, so, um... Well, I shouldn't have been, I shouldn't have been let, letting him eat, lick on some chicken and some freaking pizza. I don't buy pizza very often, but it tasted pretty good. So anyway, um, 
yeah, so that was an experience that I had. And then not too long ago, I was laying on the couch. This was probably a couple years ago. I was laying on the couch. And uh, I can't remember if I was talking to them or not. Uh, I was probably maybe thinking about them. And um, I got into that groggy state. And this this was a Mel. A Mel reptilian kind of stole my astral body. And uh, he stole my astral body and sort of like made me become him. Or he became me or whatever. And he started walking down the steps. And so I started walking down some steps. And then it's like, it just lasted a few seconds. Like, started walking down the steps. And then... It's like he makes me, he misses a step, and then boom, it, it's, it, I jump in the, you know, the bed or the couch or whatever, I jumped. They can um, scare you like that and shock you like that, startle you. And uh, it's like they steal your astral body. Yeah, it's really weird. And uh, they can just like walk around with it, do whatever they want to with it, but yet you're going along with them because they just stole you. It's like they're becoming you and you're becoming them. And he walked down the steps, like a few steps, and then, boom, I jarred awake because I was startled because he, like, missed one of the steps. Okay, that's the second experience. And like I say, these are different. These are a little different experiences than just the normal one-hour virtual reality experience or out-of-body experience. These are a little different. These are just quick little experiences that they do. And then, um, but yeah, that really sucks about this morning, man, because that could have been a lot more awesome. I don't know what the deal was. Why it just lasted five, five or 10 seconds. That kind of sucked, man. Um, I'm going to ask for another one here in a second, though. I'll ask many, many, many times. If you want an experience, you got to be really persistent because if you're just like asking like one time, like right now, they may not hear you, but if you do it like 15 times right now, and then if you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, do it again, ask them again for a virtual reality experience or out-of-body experience, and then say you wake up again at 4 o'clock, and then ask again, then they may finally hear you, and then boom, about, you know, 10 minutes after 5 a.m., they give you an experience. You know, because they're vibrating very, very, very fast. So, you you know, you got to be persistent. Okay, so the third experience, I was in England. And that made me think back about Storm of the Century. The movie Storm of the Century by Stephen King, where that reptilian is controlling people, like, with his hands and shit. Of course, this is in 3D, though. They can't make a movie, like... Where they're freaking, they can't make a movie where he's like fucking non physical and she's non physical, and you know what I'm saying? Nobody understands that shit. They can't make a movie like that anyway. So they gotta make it physical, physical, physical. And but anyway, in Storm of the Century, that being was manifesting in physical form. That reptilian, for the time being, um, that was a made for movie, like made for, you know, four hour movie or whatever, made for TV movie. But anyway, okay, okay, so this third experience, I was in England in 2014, and I was in the van about 9 o'clock in the evening. We were going back to, to our bed and breakfast, and I was getting all groggy in the van. And like I say, after this experience, it made me think about storm of the century, how they can control you to a certain degree. Um, they can control you in 3D or astral. But So anyway, this was astral. So basically... What he did was, I was in the, and I wasn't, um, I can't remember if I was talking to them. I mean, I, I was, but I can't remember specifically if I was talking to them right there, then and there when I was in the van. But I was leaning my head back, and I was getting groggy. And see, he stole me. He stole my astral body at that perfect groggy state. He stole me. And I became him. And he became me. And he, he, he uh, created exact replica of the bed and breakfast, the room that I stayed in, and the stairs that I stayed in. It's like 800-year-old house. And this time around, I stayed last, or the year before that, I stayed in a different room. But the second year, 2014, I stayed way, way, way. I stayed at the top, top, top floor. 
And the stairs, I had to walk up these stairs that were very, 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 very narrow. Like if I was 500 pounds, there's no way I could even fit up there. But they were very, very narrow. And I was on the top floor. And the floor was freaking uh, warped too, by the way. I'm, I'm going to make another video of some of the weird experiences I had there. But um, alien uh, experiences in England and some glitches of the Matrix. Um, I mean, it's not, you know, that exciting, but some people can maybe learn from it. Uh, but, um, but anyway, so he basically, I was getting groggy in the van. We were going back to the bed and breakfast. I was getting all groggy with my head back in the van. I wasn't driving or anything. The reptilian stole my astral body. This time he didn't just steal my mind like the kangaroo experience. He stole my astral body. And then... Uh, what, 22 minutes, okay, he stole my astral body, and he started walking up the steps, he started walking up, oh yeah, by the way, whenever I, in, in real life, you know, whenever I had to walk up those steps, I had to duck my head, there was only like two feet, it was really weird, there's only like two feet clearance between the ceiling and that little hole, you had to like cr climb up into through a little hole, basically, it's kind of like this room was in the roof or something. And uh, it was a very old bed and breakfast. So anyway, so he stole my astral body. And he, start, he became me and I became him. And so as he started, the reptilian started walking up the steps. So I started walking up the steps. Because I was him and he was me. You know, I was, you know, he stole me, my astral body or whatever, and my mind. So whatever he did, I did. Um, we weren't independent of each other. Like I was him and he was me. He started walking up the steps because, you know, they like to mock. So he stole me, my astral body and mind. He started walking up the steps. So I started walking up the steps because I had already done that many, many times, you know, over the many days I stayed there. So then what he did was, and I always had to duck my head to get up in the bedroom. What he did was he did not duck his head. So I didn't duck my head. So I hit my head on, you know, on the wall because <clears throat> you got to duck your head to get up in that little hole, the square hole and go up into the bedroom. And so he started walking up the steps with me. And he did not duck, so I did not duck. And once I hit my head, I like, bam, I jolted awake in the van. And of course, there again, they got to steal you at that perfect groggy state, that perfect alpha state. You know, well, I mean, they don't have to, but lots of times they will, that's how they can get, get you, uh, that's how they can abduct you and stuff during that perfect groggy state. But they can still abduct you even when you're not in alpha state. But anyway, that was my fun little experience. Experiences. Thanks for listening.